Hello, beautiful collectives. I hope everybody is great. We are going to get some messages for you today and see what's coming in. So whenever you're receiving this video is when it's meant to find you. Timing is fluid. All right, guys. So we're going to pull a runes for you. And roll the dice. All right. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. We have the sun. So Leo, Sunday, the self, personality, ego, and confidence with cancer. The sun. Cancer. And number four in reverse, that's Emperor Energy. Okay, we're going to get a runes. Okay. We have Saulo. Um, a time when power will be available to you for positive changes in your life. Saulo. We have Anguas. Or ensues communication signals, inspiration, enthusiasm, speech, true vision, and power of words. And we have Degas. Change directed by your will, your own will, and transformation. Okay. All right, guys. So let's see um what's coming in at this time. Let's start the reading off. We're going to get some time frames, some cute little cards. Let's summon some shit. We have Thursday, which is actually today. But when you're getting this message, it may be Friday, it may be Saturday, it may be Sunday. So we have July. That's what I do. I do yoga, chant mantras, and I know things. So July. We have new moon, music and wine make me feel alive. We have Tuesday, take a bath, you dirty hippie. We have all the hurt my heart has felt is still not enough to imprison my soul. We have rebirth with Saturday. That's what I do. I read books, I drink coffee, and I know things. Saturday, and we have immediately... You smell like drama and headache. Please go away immediately. <laughs> we have beer because murder is wrong. Autumn. We have angels exist, but sometimes they don't have wings and are called cats. Fulfillment. Or dogs. We have you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me. Uh, at the stage. So we have at this stage, and we have rock and roll, never dies, we have forever. Cute. All right, guys, that's what we have out of that deck. Very cute deck. Temu. I love Temu. They got everything. Everything. Uh, okay, we're going to get overall energy. I'm hearing Madison Intuitive. You guys may um, follow her on YouTube. Madison Intuitive. And this is weird. I grabbed this deck to use, and I'm actually thinking about using my um, Circle of Life tarot for clarifiers. Look, they have the same patterns. The flower. <laughs> okay. So let's get an overall energy, please. And my beautiful collective is at this time. This is for any zodiac sign, so just um, getting the message in general. You may find um, you have messages here, no matter what zodiac sign you are. That's why I do the generals. If you want a specific reading or a zodiac sign, leave a comment. Or also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, um, forty dollars. All my information is in the in my bio. Um, the last two weeks of this month will be October will be on sale, half off. So mark that on your calendar. Um, Crystal ball readings are 30 and um, 
pendulum one question with the pendulum is five dollars three questions is 15 and anything more than that is 20. My Cash App and uh, Venmo card are also in my link, as well as my Amazon wish list and my link to my Etsy shop to see all of my merchandise, my oils that I offer. I have um, two new ones called Follow Me Boy and Mother's Bliss um, and Venus Love Oil, Hecate and Lilith Oil. All those oils and my money oil are on my Etsy uh, shop. The protection oil, facial glow, sex, love, and me, which is the less libido. Um, okay, you got a lot of Archangel Angels coming out. I got an eight chakras oil. It activates and aligns all your chakras. I offer zodiac sign oil. All right, we have the soulmates card. We have Archangel Angels, the Decio coming through with temperance and death, genius of sun, priest, balancer, and art, Sagittarius energy with death, transition, Mortality, nothingness, and change. Rebirth, transition, Scorpio energy. So Archangel Zedekiel, Archangel Jophiel, and Archangel Michael coming through with Archangel. Well, Jophiel is twice. All right, so we have Archangel Zedekiel, Violet, Soul Star, Forgiveness. He's the Violet Ray. Um, he governs Saturdays with freedom. Forgiveness, tolerance, and diplomacy. Ask and will bring joy back into your life, if you ask. We have Archangel Jophiel. And my oils are $9.99 with $3.99 shipping. They come in a rolling size bottle. All my oils come with vitamin E oil and glitter. And they come with a shugnite crystal, a blue kyanite crystal, and a green tourmaline crystal. Okay, we have Archangel Jophiel, yellow ray. Ask him to help you absorb information when studying and when you need wisdom. And Archangel Michael, you can ask him for both physical and spiritual protection, captain of all the angels. All right, we're going get to get into it, see what's coming in for you guys at this time. So we have death and temperance, balance and rebirth. So I feel like somebody is trying so hard to cling on so tightly to the last remaining bits of stagnant stagnancy or they are having a really hard time budging with something. Maybe they um, can't release the past or a, a, a bad behavior pattern, something along those lines. We will get clarifiers afterward. All right, so what's coming in? What is the overall energy for the day or for my collectives when they find these messages? What do they need to know, please, for their highest good? What are the messages? Thank you. Okay, three of swords in reverse. I'm spirit saying to take it upright. Okay, deep emotional pain, grief, disillusionment, sorrow, depression, heartbreak, misunderstanding, tear, and loss. Okay. That's that, like I was saying, trying to hang on to the pain, hold on to something. We have Knight of Pentacles, connected to nature, conservative, practical, hardworking, responsible, protective, defensive, persistent, stubborn, patient, loyal, and slow. Like moving slow, the pentacles are the slowest moving in the, in the tarot. We have the Hierophant, um, Taurus energy. Okay. Somebody could be trying to help you push you in a direction, I feel like, that's going to be overall good and beneficial for your growth. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Magician. You're trying to get out of this slump. Full Moon, we have the King of Coins and the King of Swords. Two energies, Queen of Swords at the bottom. Coming up, let's get your overall energy. Seven of Wands is worth fighting for. This is defending yourself. Um, don't back down. Haters gonna hate. This is liberty. This is making a stand, facing it head on. It's your life. Ten of Wands is a heavy load. Brink of collapse, responsibilities, over the limit, overwhelmed, almost there. Overloaded with done. So you're done with something. That's why the magician is here. You're you're wanting to take power of your life. It says resourceful creator, willpower, influence, master, manifester, inspired action, concentration, resourceful, and intellect. Gemini, Virgo energy. Okay, so we have the two of wands and the tower. 
for the overall energy with the Nine of Wands here at the bottom. Okay, I'm almost also getting a streak. I feel um, like for some of you guys, if somebody has been struggling with addiction, um, this is them basically um, <clears throat> wanting to give it up, but not really having either the resources or the full on commitment to actually fully commit and release. If you know what I'm saying, I'm wearing all, all my moonstones, peach, rainbow, and black. Okay, I'm putting my black um, uh, serpent, sepitarian, my black sepitarian, I believe that is. Amethyst. Actually being called to my mahogany obsidian. This is unicorn stone. This is mahogany obsidian. Being called to amethyst. This is good for, very good for addiction or grief, um, calming, helping you come to terms with things, letting things go. And this is black moonstone. Very beautiful. Peach moonstone. I love my moonstones. They're all about um, fertility, the, the feminine energy, um, the moon. Jet. It's jet. Okay. And I'm gonna wear my unicorn stones today. I like to like my ducks, I like to switch up my crystals. And this is the dark mirror oracle. I'm being called to pull um so the two of wands and the tower. You have an ultimatum, a decision, and I feel like this ultimatum is gonna be made. Um, if you're living, say, with a family member or somebody who, you know, where it's not your house, you don't own it, this person may be giving you an ultimatum and you feel like you have to defend yourself here, protect yourself. Um, and I, I ultimately, nine of wands at the bottom, I feel like this person obviously is doing it because they care. Why else would they be doing it? Yeah, let's pull a message for you guys. I would greatly appreciate it too if you guys prayed for my brother um if you pray for me he is struggling with addiction and he, i just i don't want to see him dead he's doing fentanyl and heroin and i i don't want to see him end up in a casket so i'd really appreciate it if you guys could send the love and support all right let's get two cards please for my collective so if i look like i'm about to cry or teary-eyed i've been Wearing it in my face all all morning. Um, so yeah, it's very emotional. They went to Florida, so hopefully he'll be good. He'll be away from the stuff. We found his little batch today, um, his baggies, and my mom did, and we, we threw it out. So, All right, we have Gilded Regret, number five. Yeah. With 15 Masquerade. This could be a double linked or entity, too. To you or this person and I'm almost getting magic we have addiction number 11 what is the chances of that with number eight the child I was meant to be we have an extra card the inner child I feel like we have sacrifice at the bottom number seven anger and chains and forgetting oneself and that's what all led it led you here or your person here to begin with um you know um, is anger and rage or unresolved wounds that, yeah, wasn't fully healed yet. All right, guys, um, I have the book. This is on Amazon, The Dark Mirror Oracle. So let's see what this Gilded Regret is about. 
The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. This is the deck. Number five. Says moon phase, waning crescent, so getting smaller. Stage bargain. I feel like living in the past. Please give me five more minutes to linger. Okay, so going dark, the antithesis. Um, the cage of our memories is the most gilded. Lingering to the past, savoring crumbs and flashes, hints and ifs. But is our sword, however, is our shield. We follow the river against the current to a sea of maybes. We cannot say life is here now. We just say life was here. So that even... So that even when the future builds day by day, we still look backward to memories and possibilities. Options we missed, things we lost, changes we fled. It is like staying in the twilight of consci con yeah, conscience in the blessed state of those five minutes between the time the alarm rings and when you actually have to wake up. Like little kids between the time mom, call mom calls and the time... We need to wake up and run, but those five minutes are taking up too much time. They are the drain of our energies or our opportunities of our future. The ifs are now gone. Whatever has been has been already, isn't it? And we have the child I was meant to be, and I'm not gonna read addicted um, because we already know what that what that means. So number eight. Full um, moon phase, full, so full moon, stage, acceptance. An instant of clarity is the light I needed. Yeah. To go forward is to go backward, as hope heals the wounds of the past. That's the sentence. Here's going dark, the antithesis. There is little darkness in this card. It is a card of connection with ourselves. So many times it feels like dream. It's fleeting, uncertain, and yet light and disappears, or yet Uncertain and yet clear. The moment you close your hand to grasp it, it turns into fairy light and disappears. But it remains as lingering as a lingering smell, an ephemeral, ephemeral feeling of light and peaches and blossoms. It is faith. It is hope. It is a warm smile at the other side of the forest of smoke and mirrors. We can be whole again. We can be pure again. We can be happy again. No matter what we did, we can. Just know that it is a gift of light among the cruel darkness. It brings no road, sometimes no solace, but it can become a seed of hope, a wind of change, a place of, of faux safety in the storm. Even if it's gone, it was definitely here. So very nice. And then we have addicted. So yes, guys, um, there is hope. All right, let's keep going on. That made that made a lot of sense. That actually tied in very well. All right, let's get the person on your mind or the person who is coming towards you. Who's coming towards my collective, please? Where are the messages? And he's tired. Oh, I just heard mourning. Somebody could be mourning the loss of somebody. My condolences. So let's see who's coming towards you. Six of Wands, Leo Energy with congratulations. We have King of Coins, ultim Ultimate Provider. So King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. The card says Capricorn, but could be any of those signs. Okay. We have the Solar Eclipse with the, the Moon, Subconscious. So the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. 
subconscious, blocked intuition, misconception, uncertainty, deception, ambiguity, stability, dreams, anxiety, and illusion. We have the Empress, Divine Feminine coming out, Taurus energy. We have the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, emotional fulfillment, completely content, wishes come true, feeling good, full, happy, satisfied. We have the Emperor and we have the Three of Wands. Very nice. Aries energy, manifest your dreams, manifesting big developments, travel for pleasure, work or love, level up and progress. Okay, so we have the both the Empress and the Emperor. We have a divine pair here. Very nice. Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment. All right, so let's get um, your person's overall energy. So I feel like something is almost complete for you, Collective. It's almost done. Whether um, this is a heavy load, that ton of wands, or if you've been waiting for love. We have a we have a pair here on the board. Or if you're... Some of you, I feel like your person may be with somebody right now, and maybe you're waiting for um, them to be completely over or your person to be completely healed and moved on. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Cups, which fell on the tower which is clarity of thought. We have mental, mentally strong, the Queen of Swords, uh, Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra. And we have justice, Libra energy, fairness and balance. Doing what's right, cause and effect, integrity, fairness, balance, legal matters, consequences, life lessons, and truth. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups here, and it is in reverse. So clarity of thought, focus, action, clear, clear, Clear cognizant, seeing a clear choice, concrete and decisive. Clear cognizant is, um, I believe, clear audience is hearing spirit. Clear, clear cognizant. I think that's like psychic or just like a premonition, inner knowing. So your person feels like they're guided towards. You, maybe because your life isn't going um, smoothly and they feel that they may want to help you out of this rut. We have the Knight of Cups for your overall energy. Following your heart, yeah, artistic, attraction, tactful, proposals, an invitation, affection, chivalrous, romantic, charming, psychic, and grace. So you both may have gifts or be very um, in tune with each other's feelings, thoughts, desires, and needs, because I'm getting the energy. You guys could also um, be communicating telepathically and not even um, being aware that's what that is, that's what you're doing. Okay. All right, so we have... Ver vernal equinox so dark to light timing a few days it's time act now fresh start awakening and spring all right let's clarify we have the chariot at the bottom uh cancer energy strength moving forward brute strength willpower success control action travel focus forward movement yeah strength of will willpower Okay, we're going to use these cards to clarify. I haven't used them yet. I just got this deck. All right. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Why is the three of swords here um, for my collective? Thank you. The hermit. Virgo energy. You guys have been taking a break. Um, feeling alone or purposely isolating. You guys got to come out of that. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Or you've been nurturing something. This is the early signs, early stages of your nurturing. Five of Cups with the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you've given up the battle, the fight. We have the Chariot at the bottom. You're ready to explore something. You're ready to move ahead here. Five of Cups, forward motion. 
the five of wands you've laid something to rest i feel like Okay, why is the hair font here, please? The Four of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Huh, you are still in somebody's energy or, like I said, refusing to budge or let go. That was that whole message um, in the beginning, um, healing from something. So whether this is an ex that you are trying to release or, you know, something else. The time has come in your life collective to, to get a, um, you know, a reality, a, a judgment call. Hold on, I got something in my eye. Yes, I feel like spirit doesn't want you to hold on to this anymore because it's only going to be um, self-destructive. You know, it's only going to cause uncertainty and feelings of nostalgia. Really take the time to go inward here with the hermit, the temperance and death, your transition, balance, genius, priest, balancer, art. Maybe find an outlet that you really enjoy. Okay, why is the seven of wands here for collective's energy, please? Strength. This is your time. You have the resources you need. Um, very nice. Yeah, you have the resources. Why is the ten of wands here for collective? These make very good clarifying cards, guys. I'm not going to lie. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords at the bottom. You're going to fight these demons, whatever these are. Nine of Pentacles, whatever had its, um, you know, was wrapped around you, squeezing, hanging on, wicked tight like that snake there. Python spirit. Spirit wants to release these. Look at how many Arkle Angels you had come out in your reading. Why is the Magician here for Collective? Well, we know why, but because you're manifesting this. This is a conscious change on your behalf. Thank you, Wheel of Fortune. Like I was just saying, this is a conscious change. You're taking the ball. The ball is in your court. You're taking the bull by the fucking horns, pretty much. All right, let's get your overall energy. Why is the two of wands here with the tower? For my visual learners out there, um, I have a lot of beautiful decks that help, that are very visual. That's why I get them. I'm a visual learner myself. Oh, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So it clearly is saying that you were the one that didn't want to budge or you felt you couldn't with the Nine of Cups. But now you see that there's something better, more fulfilling. That you're going to be um, establishing a relationship with or connection whether it's a project or an actual person. All right, let's see why the Six of Wands is here. If we're gonna clarify your person's energy. Five of Pentacles, Justice. If somebody did you wrong in the past, this person is gonna be forgiven or spirit um, is, yeah, I feel like this person has already um, owned up or confess to what they did wrong they've already went through the grieving process the judgment all that so to speak okay they've learned the lesson if this was recent then um like fairly new spirit is still working working with this person now, let's see why the six of wands is here With congratulations, victory, recognition, success, pride of achievement, confidence, boost, and milestones. That's Leo energy. Ace of Cups came out sideways, so this person is um, contemplating making the dive, the plunge towards you. Ton of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so like I was saying with the Fool at the bottom, if this person was... Six of, six of cups. If this person is um, 
wanting to reconcile with you or is releasing somebody. Could be releasing someone with the Ten of Swords also in their life. That's what that means. All right, thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see why the King of Pentacles is here for their energy. person coming towards my collective who is this king of pentacles capricorn energy three of three of wands we have the eight of swords four of swords and the five of swords okay a lot of swords they could have a lot of air in their chart also we have aries energy here this is a cool card this reminds me of avatar three of wands they're come to a place where they're stepped up to the plate and they're looking what way they want to go. Do they come towards you? Do they not focus on love at the moment? Or do they be there and support you and show up as a friend in your life? So this really all depends on the role this person plays with you in their life and how um, much availability they're going to be able to show in your life and consistency. And this is also going to depend, I feel like, on spirit, what spirit wants um, or feels that's necessary, that they're the role they play in your life. So for the moon, we have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords in their head about their emotions. Seven of Pentacles. Do they invest? I think they want to. I really do. I think they want to. Why is the Empress here for this person's energy? They may lack um, self-confidence. We will get some clarifying oracle and clarify. Ten of Cups. Very nice. They know they can have this Ten of Cups with you or this is how they feel currently about you. Uh, present energy. Ten of Cups. Emotional happiness, fulfillment, joy, um, magician, justice, and the five of swords. Six of swords at the bottom. Okay, why is the nine of cups here? Person coming towards collective. Why is the nine of cups here? We have the Empress, the Six of Pentacles, yes. They want to give to this equally, or they feel that, um, Six of Swords at the bottom, they feel that they are going to help you achieve something, or, you know, help you um, take your power back in some way. Why is the Emperor card here? Pay attention to your dreams as well. So maybe start a dream diary or journal. Six of Wands. Yeah, you're going to... This person is going to tackle whatever this indecisive back and forthness was all about. Why is the Three of Wands here? King of Wands, Six of Swords. They're going to present you with an offer, I feel. They're going to show up... Um, just in time in your life, the emperor at the bottom, or when you need more masculine energy and direction in your life, whether you're a female or male that's watching, um, gender roles are, you know, not specific. All right, let's get their overall energy. We have the queen of swords, the seven of cups in reverse, and justice, their overall energy. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse here? Upright, it means options. Scorpio energy, the tower. Tower in reverse. Ugh. They may be forced to look at something um, that's going on in their life. Why is justice here? By spirit.
seven of cups. Okay, very nice. Why is the queen of swords here? Ace of pentacles. They may be trying to manifest money or they're really good at their job. Knight of swords. You got the high priestess at the bottom. All right, let's last uh, last cards, guys. We're gonna get the overall energy. Why is the Knight of Cups here? For the overall energy between my collective and this person. Thank you. The Devil with the Temperance at the bottom. So yeah, like I suspected, there's been some type of devil interference. Let's get one more for that. The Nine of Swords, and it's caused a lot of, it's wreaked a lot of havoc or strife, um, sleepless nights. I'm asking if the devil was sent to you. We have the Four of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, so it could have been, yes, because somebody could have been jealous of your stability. Could have been an earth sign. We have Capricorn energy here. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the King of Swords at the bottom. Or the Queen, sorry. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could have been sent because somebody didn't want to see you guys together. Very well. Very nice. That's what we have um, out of the tarot. Okay, let's clarify. We're going to get some love situations. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for those messages. Return any dark magic sent um, sent to me or my collective, return it back to the sender tenfold, and protect my collective as I channel these messages. Sending love and light. Nothing but light and the best of intentions for myself and my collectives at this time. All right, guys, um, let's get a love message. Let's see what on the devil, what areas this devil influence is having in your lives. We have unhealed past relationships with jealousy. For some of you guys, could have been feeling not good enough. We have self-pity. The devil shows up in weird ways in our lives. Um, it could be gluten, it could be adultery, it could be um, self-harm, self-destruction. We have self-destruction, destructive patterns, sorry. Could be addiction. Could be any of the seven deadly sins. We have lack of self-confidence and lack of self-commitment. Could be that little voice in our head could be um, chaos, whether you don't take care of your health, your home, your home's always a pigsty. You know what they say, messy bed, messy head. What goes on in your temple um, displays in the, your outer. So if you're very neat and you cleanse your space and you're a clean person, well, that displays how you are internally. So just remember that. We have belief that everyone betrays and feeling unlovable with control issues, unworthiness, fear of rejection, feeling incomplete, fear of commitment, and feeling of loss. We have negative self-image and not following your heart at the bottom. Oh, that's exactly what's going on here. I gotta eat something, guys, so we're gonna make this video kind of short. My stomach is hurting. Let's see what they want to say to you. The 
is the person on my collector's name I'm gonna say to them. <clears throat> I'm stuck in visions of us together. I can't make a decision. The heat between us is intense. I need to figure myself out. Why do I feel this what this why? And will this pain ever stop? I can't make you happy. I don't know where to start and I was hurt by you. I wish I could be a different person. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. And why do I feel so lost? Will this ever change? And it is dark without you. I wish to be like you. I can't stop thinking about you. And I wish I could be fully honest with you. Drama. I'm scared of rejection is at the bottom. So we see a lot of the same patterns here um, presenting themselves. A lot of the same patterns. Okay, let's pull a card for you guys, an oracle. Okay, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Seven masters, divine beings. What are the messages, please? For my collectives at this time for their highest good. What um, skills could they apply to their life for their, um, their best possible self? Messages, please, for my collective from spirit. Highest good. Highest good of all. Thank you. Remember, the Dega is change directed by your own will and transformation. So this is something that you're going to need to, to you know, the path is clear if you want it to be. We have this card that came out again. Wow. The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. We had that when I first pulled one. All is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. In Salo, a time when power will be available to you for positive changes in your life. So you have the power. Everything you need um, at your fingertips. We have see with your heart. The time is now to hear the messages. We have three, thirty-two, and two. Three, three, two, two. And we have ten. So Wheel of Fortune energy. Closing out a cycle no longer holds power over you. Dissolve attachments of the past with love. Okay, we're going to get one more. Seek clarity if that's what you guys need at this time to resolve something. And we have 21, following the path of another. Your path is being redirected to where it should be. I love that card. You deserve good things, 13 at the bottom. Keep your focus on what you want. For some of you, color can uplift you. Color uplifts you. You, you are bright energy, number 16. And shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Be authentic. Your way is the only way for you, number 11. Very nice. Some of you use it as time to move on. Flow with the river. See where it takes you. 42. And last card, 14, with the temperance for the overall energy. Stay strong. Be a guiding light. Ground yourself. Be love. Okay, I do want to get Oracle. Um, those cards just gave me the inspiration because I was very hesitant and unsure of what deck. What decks I was being called to, guys, because this just the way their reading's been going, 
it hasn't been wanting to, you know, flow naturally. So definitely a lot of blockages, a lot of self-doubt. Um, I can feel all that energy. That's not good. You need to release yourself. Rest and rejuvenate. No anxiety. All right. Angels and spirit guides, ascended masters, divine beings, gods and goddesses. What are the messages, please, for my collectives at this time? Something they can take with them on their journey and apply to their life if they so wish. The sun's coming back out for you guys. The sun is in your sky. You're going to free yourself from any attachments. The world is your oyster as long as you're resting and rejuvenating. The sun. Find a higher power. Be the light. And walk away from anything that causes you, you know, that holds you back. The thinking man, 46. Which equals 10. So again, a completion. Adds up to 10. That's your lucky number of the day. 12, 10, 24, and 42. We have 50, Angel of Strength. Yeah, with four happy family. We have right here, guys. Archangel Michael is pushing for this union of strength and vitality and, and your close connections, your close committed connections, your personal relationship with yourself, the sun here, your manifesting, the temple path, number 12. Didn't I just say that? 12, 10, 20. 24 and 26 are your numbers of the day. We have 35, first chakra, Archangel Michael. We have 31, door to value. We have number nine, broken heart. You can fix that, though, if you wish. And 30, the garden and the gate. Very nice. Let's get some wisdom. We'll get some angel time frames and um, another love oracle deck. All right, let's find out from the wisdom. Spirit wants you to know. I'm hearing behold. Come to the edge and to the sea. Do you behold some type of knowledge or wisdom that sets you apart from a lot of people? I'm hearing the rest. We're going to get this transformation as well. What is this wisdom um, that collective beholds? Answers. I just seen answers and clarity. Wow. With willpower. Some of you guys have a strong um, life purpose. I'm hearing a good life purpose. You don't know what it is. If you, if that's you, then we'll see what comes out of here. Maybe if this will give you insight or clarity. And some of you guys already know what your divine purpose is here in this life. I guess we're all just um, souls, um, you know, having a human experience, but we're always growing, 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 growing. We're ne we never stop learning. From the moment we're born to the day we die, we are learning. And that's, that's great because I love learning. We have boundaries. Some of you guys, it's your mission to be a, um, to break soul patterns, soul, uh, like curses or jinxes or hexes that's been placed on you or your family. That's your, um, calling. To break it in this lifetime we have well-being we have healing we have passion we have family in reverse we have psychic abilities with transformation yeah we have dreams with animals we have truth with trust we have reconciliation we have manifestation and we have answers. Okay, like I said, I've seen this while shuffling. Some type of answers coming to you about your well being. We have well being at the bottom, love and strength. We have freedom. Yeah, breaking curses, hexes. You could be a healer. What's this dreams? Why is this dreams card here? 
strength with new beginnings. Why is this animals card here? The collective could work with animals, be a veterinarian. We have happiness, heal the sick, help the sick, willpower, new beginnings, and blessing. Blessings with finding. Some of these finding closure, spirit guide, and well being with love. I heard midwife and then I seen the card of love. So very nice. Okay, that's what we have over there. So if that gives you any downloads um, or some clarity, I hope that helped. I love that card. Wow, very powerful stuff. Very nice. All right, let's get the wisdom. For collective's highest good. I'm hearing analogy. Some of you guys um, are math or technicians or very good at math or math teachers. Anything in um, career where you help people, you're a teacher. Or you could be a student yourself. And then again, I'm hearing caretaker again. Yeah, we have time for a nap animal caretaker for some of you guys that was always my dream hey i'm little miss isabel is my name really ringing a bell i'm 12 years old and got my brand and got my own new car and to me that's really good so far i made that song when i was like i don't know i want to say like six seven or eight my dream my goal was to be a, a veterinarian own a corvette yeah because my name is yvette <laughs> vet Betty. okay time for a nap 24 for some of you guys and i seen a fox the other day hey welcome to firefox fairy my channel actually used to be named za lily tarot because i have three placements of fire um well four but lilith and aries but besides that um i have three placements water scorpio which one of them's moon Three placements, Sun, uh, Sagittarius. Two placements, Capricorn. One placement, um, Aquarius. So all four elements are there, fire and water. And Lilith, I have Aries. So yeah, four fire, three water. So Zalili Tarot. And if you've ever made your Wicca name, it's very, my Wicca name is very close to that. So to be fair, 38. They say never say your Wicca name because people, other witches can use your Wicca name to cast spells on you, curses, so it's a secret. We have peace, we have observer, we have never ending story, we have round and round, we have yang, regeneration and here and now with new life and loyal heart at the bottom. So you guys could be going round and round, never ending story with a masculine. Let's find out. Let's um see what this is all about. If you should let this person go or if this is like not your actual person, you'll know if it's your actual person. Um, okay, for collectives, please. Can we clarify this yang masculine with round and round and never ending story? Perfect timing with round and round. Swing your pop no round and round. We have Yang or Never Ending Story. Get more information in the near future and recovery. So there could be for some there could be another um, a third party in the mix. But others of you, this person is your person's recovering. It says in the near future. It says let go and ask your angels. What's this regeneration? Helpful people. Why is the here and now here? Like I was saying, be present. Show up for yourself. We have a year from now with an opportunity. Could, could show up um, in a year from now. Very nice. So stay focused on your goals. Don't get sidetracked. Why is this um, to be fair here with Observer? And peace. 
something's gonna go in your favor, yeah. To be fair, why is it that here? There's something better with communicate clearly at the bottom. Elephant could be your spirit animal. We are gonna get a spirit animal card. Why is the peace card here with observer? Well, we get the peace card first. Compromise. Meditation brings awareness and peaceful resolution. I like that the word peace came out twice now for you guys. The abundance. All right, why is observer here? It says communicate clearly. Yes. And within the next few weeks. So some of you guys have been waiting to pounce on an opportunity. You're ready and it's up to you. Or this is... Um, you still healing and growing. Yeah, remain positive. Why is the time for a nap here? Ask your angels. Why is the, to be fair here? Ask for help from others. Okay, one more for that to be fair. No more doing things backwards anymore, I'm hearing. Let something go. Again, I just seen 10 on the screen, 56, 10. To be fair. We have forgiveness. Choose a new direction. Okay, so forgiveness is needed here in something, some area of your life. Time for a nap. We have trust. Yeah, so above all else, trust the divine process. And we have improving health. So going back to addictions or anything that's toxic in your life, that's not bringing you faith or positivity or good health, it's only holding you back from your true potential opportunities from presenting themselves in your life collective. You know that. I, I do feel like you know that. We have loyal heart and new life. All right, let's get um, another. Very nice. see what spirit wants you to focus on in regards to love we'll get the island time and wellness um i do have a big version of this but with the love my love deck okay keep wanting to save for scorpio all right for my collective please at this time we could have any water placement in your chart we did have cancer on the dice also could be dealing with a gemini aquarius virgo taurus leo Aquarius and Pisces or have that in your chart. Let me know too guys. Leave a comment um, or hit the like button if they resonate. Leave a comment what your natal chart is. I'd love to know more. Like I'd love to find out. Um, it's cool hearing other people's stories, you know, sharing their information about themselves. We have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. With the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. And then we have the chaser, so the runner and the chaser dynamic here. Sounds like a twin flame. We have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. We have keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional string along, one night stand with not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear and ego, issues and jealousy. The chaser says chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And the runner says runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay, we, have, we do have twin flames that came out. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. And we have girl talk. Time with friends, moving on. Happily single, living in the moment and having fun. And that, her shirt says yes. We have engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. With stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have the dragonfly, the separation, 
Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. And we have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. And separation at the bottom, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of future. So open yourself to love and pay attention to the red flag. So what are the messages, please, for my collectives for the highest good? Um, and as far as love, I like this twin flame card. Love and relationships. Unrequited feelings. There's probably not enough um, chemistry or passion to keep this relationship going. Or this is you or somebody having feelings for you. That's what I get with unrequited feelings. Could be both. Either um, either way. Or it could go either way. Yeah. Okay. What are the messages, please, for my collectives? Um, what do they need to know when dealing with love and relationships and their love life? their highest good the person on on collective's mind oh i just heard it's gonna it's gonna be a journey we have separation difficulties unrequited feelings there's not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way. We have take your power back. You are giving someone control over how you feel. Your happiness should only depend on you. We have difficulties. So jealousies from others may serve as an obstacle, as obstacles to the success of this connection. And we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. We have different paths. You are not on the same page with the person you have in mind. The directions you want to move into are different, okay? With boundaries at the bottom. You need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or won't allow. A lot going on here. Okay, we're going to clarify. This is the Clarifying Love Situations deck. Okay, let's clarify those cards, please, Spirit. For my collectives for the highest good let's clarify these cards we have frozen heart empathy and warmth melts barriers for true connection yeah okay we have shards of love Past trauma leaves scars. Take time to heal yourself. We have love dis love's disguise. Go beyond superficial looks and see who they truly are. Um, we have lone path. <sighs> Needing to take time out or be on your own for a while. We have hang on. Release the past and let yourself love again. Fluttering heart, your passion leads you to the love you desire. We have spirit speaks. Seek wisdom and prayer, but also have an open dialogue. And we have secret desires. Unspoken needs can plunge you into deep confusion. Okay, can we get more on that for my collective, please? Can I get more on that for my collectives, please? Person on their mind. Put these back. I know, guys, it's never easy when, you know, you feel like you're an object to somebody or you're not good enough. Or somebody doesn't love you in all the same ways that you love them. It's never easy. That's why it's so important to love yourself first and establish boundaries right from the get-go. Right from the very beginning. And you won't run into those um, obstacles, those dilemmas. Learn to be a little selfish. Take your power back. I know somebody out there today needs to hear this message. 
Okay, this is the Jesus Oracle with the Alice in Wonderland Oracle combined. Okay, we have Keeping Up, number 40. Immense effort and advance. I always hear Keeping Up with the Joneses. I know that's a country song. We have uh, 17, Growing Up, Wanting to Grow and Experience, Rejection and Perpetual Youth. With God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. We have Watch and Pray that you enter not into temptation. Matthew 26, 41. And the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things. John 14, 26. Very nice. And we have forgive and you shall be forgiven. Luke 6, 37. Uh, what reading was I doing that had a lot of these same cards? We have 19. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. And she's holding a pomegranate. So some of you guys could actually be really trying hard to get pregnant or you guys are just trying to have a baby. Some of you guys want to have a baby or finding out you're pregnant. What else please for my collectives? Thank you. Six choices, feeling blocked or restrained. And we have knock and it shall be open unto you. Matthew 7, 7. That was the reading yesterday. Because there was um, covering up ears, painting the roses red with that card. Um, and I, I'm like, wow, these go hand in hand because the door, like when I pictured covering up ears, I pictured painting a door red. There's a door there. So knock and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7, 7. So choices, guys. Growing up and keeping up. Anything else? Getting to know the new you. Curiouser and curious. No, curiouser and curiouser. Number nine, discover, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. With 32, belong to your own dream. Create your own life. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John 10, 11. And that's true. Amen. Be not afraid, only believe. Mark 5, 36. So somebody could be um, needing help. We have 25, wake up, it's your moment. I heard smelling the roses. So it's time to smell smell the flowers or, you know, um, realize something in your life. Something that needs your full attention or needs to change. You know this, you ha you've had an idea probably for quite some time. Something just isn't working out the way you wanted it to. Oh, I still gotta pull an animal card. All right, guys, I just want to see what comes out of these two decks for my collective for inspiration and wisdom, inspirational matters. Um, for my collective, please, where are they at on their journey, on their path, in their life? Where about where are they um, on their journey for their highest good, please? you'll notice everything repeats in life it goes in circles like that wheel of fortune um and it only does that say if you haven't learned the lesson from something or you keep um doing the same thing over and over like you haven't completed a um uh you know so like a karmic lesson or a lesson in general spirit will keep um presenting the same kind of the same but you know different opportunities or examples or lessons in your life until you get the lesson so we have the lower world 31 some of you guys could be working with hecate or um like i said have a demon or demons attached to you lower um low entities low vibrating entities we have 67 wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom remember that um, you are the darkness you can you can look fear or you know, death right in the face and not be afraid because you know that everybody will eventually die, but don't 
you know, choose to make your time now. Don't give up on yourself. Continue pushing forward. We have the hummingbird spirit. Be here and now. 34. Beautiful. With badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Number four. Exactly. We have stand still. 52. Contemplating. Your life, how far you've came, where you're going, the direction of your life. We have three armadillo spirit. This has been coming out a lot. Um, not this card, but the armadillo in general. Set healthy boundaries. Okay, let's get one more uh, row. Thank you. Spirit doesn't miss a beat. Um, we are perfect. He created us. Um the way he wanted us to be created so he there was nothing um no mistake when he created us okay everybody's different everybody's unique in their own ways we have 34 many paths okay you're going to not only turn with knowledge into wisdom but you're going to have so many more um paths you're going to be a leader so to speak leader of the whole pack like that bring me the horizon song throne you're going to have people be looking up to you because you're going to be a fearless leader, fearless and bold. We have five bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. Exactly. And look what comes out. The lion spirit. Be generous. Be generous of spirit. 37. We have moth spirit. Surrender now. 39. Spirit's telling you. 32. With luminous warrior. Because you're a warrior. This is your birthright. This is your birthright. Okay, anything else, please, for my collectives? I like those messages, guys. Very nice. So be at peace. Stand still. Yeah, nothing is wasted. Vulture spirit. Nothing was by accident. We have the arrow, number three. We have the gather, beautiful card. There's my number, 21. We have sacred beetle spirit. Magic works through you, 52. Am I right? You're starting to ring. 56, thunder. We have the crow, 13. So 31, 13 always comes out. 28, jaguar. You're being bold. Here's earth. You could have earth in your chart. The Holy Mountain, 25. You could have a sacred place where you go to hide or hang out um, or meditate. We have six, the blade. No need to sacrifice yourself anymore for anybody. Um, your time, your energy, none of that. Grasshopper Spirit, 30. Take a leap of faith. With Cow Spirit, the miracles are endless, 15. So you guys know... Um, Was I gonna say grasshopper spirit? Um, you guys are teachers, healers, magic 33, the coyote. Um, when you know your purpose in life, your soul's mission, you're not going to doubt yourself anymore, you're not going to overthink things, you're not going to have to battle with um, people that are not like-minded or that people are ignorant or don't see the um, problems with their own ways. You're going to be in a whole different category of people yourself or a whole different um, aura, energy, okay? It's a very fascinating, it's a unique, and it's a bless blessing in disguise. It's a whole different playing field of energy that's... Um, you're going to be glad that once you found your way, that way that suits you best, you're going to um, see why every lesson and every bad thing, um, so to speak, in your life, you know, happened the way it did or inflicted you and how you handled, you know, yourself at that time, handled the situation. You're going to be looking back and all that life experience and um, rolling it up in a ball and putting it in your tool belt you're going to it's going to be like a trophy right we have wondrous whale with 
introspection, depth, and transcendence. Yeah, ancient songs and soul of the sla or of the sea awaken, awaken, and the cosmic awareness within. Yeah. You're going to begin resonating. We have frackling fox, cleverness, deduction, and perseverance. Playful trickster of the forest. Grant me the gifts of speed and strength. Oh, and did I say today yet, guys? Welcome to Firefox Fairy. I believe I said it once already. But in case you guys didn't hear it the first time. Okay, anything else uh, for my collectives that they need to know at this time? Yep, we have Crafty Crocodile. Boldness, self-discovery, assurance. Ancient keeper of wisdom and insight. Show me how to dive deep into my feelings. This is my spirit animal, according to horoscope.com. According to my birth, my birthday and all that. And time I was born. Crocodile is my animal. But the rooster is my Chinese zodiac um, sign. Like spirit animal. Okay. Okay, they had this yesterday in the reading yesterday, guys. We have benevolent bull, generosity, prosperity, and kindness. Crescent horns reflecting the moon. Your kind and giving nature, I would know. Okay, anything else for my collective? For their highest good. Thank you. All right, we have, and I have that card too. Fabulous flamingo, friendship, poise, and purpose. All right, now we're going to get uh, one last deck to see. We're going to get the Naked Truth um, last deck, guys, to see what your person wants to say. Okay. Person on my collective's um, mind. What do they want to say to my collective? How are they truly feeling on an intimate, deep level? For some of you guys, spirit is wanting me to tell you that you guys should um study runes get into runes type of divination they're viking runes there's also witches runes i don't know the witches runes and i'm i'm pretty decent at the um the names of the runes but not the um if i had to not look at the chart i probably wouldn't be able to tell you what they mean but so i'm i'm getting better um but yeah runes for some of you guys Always follow um, your heart or what spirits. Um, that little voice in your head is spirit. So make sure that it's always a good spirit, not a bad spirit. Ooh, I, I couldn't give to you like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past. Addictions clouded my vision. I'm trying to get my life together. It was easier to lie than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it all back. I know you are my soulmate, babe. Our bond is magnetic. I'm seeing all the signs. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. And then we have telepathic communication. I ghosted you because it was getting too intense. I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues. We have karmic partner interference. Yes, I was cheating. I'm only staying here for my kids. Nothing else. I'm making my way out. My finances are a mess. I've made bad decisions. I'm in the process of turning things around. This was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. And I was hiding my true feelings from you because I was scared of commitment and I didn't want to lose my freedom. And these two cards came out in yesterday's reading as well together. I wasn't going to read them, but I knew somebody um, needed to hear that message. All right, guys, that was it. I hope this helped you so much. Sending love and light and support. If you have any questions or need a remedy for anything, my go-tos that I'm very good at are oils, herbs, 
and crystals. So any remedy at all, let me know. Sending love and light. And don't forget my Etsy link for my merchandise and I offer personal readings, crystal ball readings, and pendulum questions. Thanks now. Take care.